Back in the book segment tonight, one of the big lessons learned in the Wiener story is don't lie to the media, as we said, and think you'll get away with it because you won't, especially when there is hard proof that you have done something wrong. Here now, Ellis Hennigan and in Washington, Jim Pinkerton, both of Fox News analysts. All right, Hennigan, why do you think that people didn't come to Wiener's defense Thinking back to Bill Clinton, remember Bill mm -hmm. Clinton? Sure. When you and all your other little merry far left people were parading on every newscast, it's only about sex, it's only this, it's only that. I mean, it would legions of people mm -hmm. to come in to defend the president, but no one to defend Wiener. I'll give you two or three reasons. One is that nobody liked Wiener to start. Okay, with, so right? uh, that's good. I mean, that's that's important. Wait, but I, you need to back that up. Okay. Okay. So you say that he was loathed. Yes. By most left-wing people. By most people in Washington. Why was he low? Because he was a jerk. Because he was a jerk. Yeah, was Can you define that, well, Ellis? Well, yeah, I'll give you a chapter and verse if you like it. I mean, he treated people awfully. He, he elbowed his way to the front of every room he was in. He would never shut up. You couldn't get any kind of reasonable answer out of the guy. Bad guy. Had no uh, a lot of personal connection to anybody. A lot of friends. What else? Well, also, I think you've made a good point with the lying directly to the press. It's like you're taunting the media. He was taunting them. Yeah, good well, good word, say, Alice. Well, thank taunting you. Them. I've been following your, uh, your okay. vocabulary. All right, lesson. so that's two good points. Do you agree, Pinkerton, with those points? No, I don't. I don't agree with the first one at all. I think the Democrats loved him. I think he was a great battering ram for them. He would get up on TV and slam Republicans. That's what uh, Democratic partisans and Democratic campaigners uh, okay, but, very but, much but like. What Ellis, I think, is saying is that that's yeah, true, and I, nobody could deny that he was a battering ram for the far left. But in his personal dealings, they didn't like him. Well, I don't think they, it really mattered until the press jumped on him. I mean, the Project for Ex Excellence in Journalism concluded that 17 percent of all the news in America last week was Wiener. That was only 11 yeah, percent for the Middle the East. The Clinton thing was uh, dominated the headlines, and you couldn't, they couldn't get on fast enough to defend Bill Clinton, well, even when it was indefensible, even when well, there I was think, so much evidence and Clinton still wouldn't cop to it. You still right, had legions the, of people out there. But the very first, the, the, look, for the first few months of 1998, when all that Clinton scandal happened, people really genuinely took his word for it. But I after think this that, case, they did. They still were going, right. it's only about sex, it's only this, it's only that. He didn't really lie. What is is? It depends what you mean by what is is. And, and they, were, they were defending that. I mean, it was crazy. Well, but by then, the partisan lines had set in, and it was just a Democrat versus Republican battle. With Wiener, it was so obvious so quickly that he was guilty, and everybody knew it just from the tweets and so on, and the pictures, that there, no, nobody could defend him anymore. I mean, if, if Monica Lewinsky had said, I confess, a week into the Clinton stuff back in January of 98, Clinton would have been gone too. All right, so you say that if Monica Lewinsky had copped to this and made herself available to the press, as these women did with Wiener, then Clinton couldn't have survived. Do you agree with that? Um, no, I think there's quite a lot more going on here. I, I mean, first of all, there was the reservoir of, of, of goodwill. There was also a big difference. With Clinton. Of, yeah, there, there, there's also a big difference of what the media was and what the evidence was. The thing that really hurt Wiener, I think, beyond the line, was the, was the icky pictures, the gross text yeah, but messages. Look, if you no, look, but that stuff well, is wait, powerful wait, wait, Ellis, in the Ellis, media. You're from Louisiana. I if you indeed. look at what uh, David Vitter, the senator down right. there, got reelected. We never had pictures of him with the hookers, though. It doesn't though. matter. On paper, what, what Vitter did and what Bill Clinton did right. was, was worse. worse. Right. This, well, Anthony Weiner, and I'm not going to use a bad word, but he never really got any uh, the stuff that but those that, other well, guys but, got. But, but you, then it does, your argument doesn't hold up in the sense that there was something about Weiner's persona. And I, I, I tell you what, I have to cut to the chase. He, and I, who used the word? Taunted. Who used it? Taunted, he, yeah. he taunted the media. Once you do mm -hmm. that, you're dead. Yeah, you're yeah. dead. But